Who do you say Jesus is? We can, we can say what Peter said, you're the Christ, the Son of the living God. Okay, but that, that's good. That means that you're probably born again. Probably, if you know that much, you because then you would say, okay, who do you say he is? Well, I say he's Lord. Okay, then you're probably born again. But who do you say he is? Do you Because we have all of the Jehovah names of the Old Testament. Jehovah Shalom, God who is our peace. So who do you say he is? He is my peace. Jesus said, my peace I leave with you. Not, not the peace like the world has, but my peace. And he has made unto us peace. So well, who do you say he is? Well, he is peace to me. He gives me peace in the middle of the storm. Who do you say he is? Well, <clears throat> we have Je- Jehovah Shammah, the, the Lord who is present. So is he? Who do you say Jesus is? Well, I say he is the Lord that is present with me, and he will never leave me nor forsake me. So he's always with me. And if Jesus, the Christ, the anointed one is with me, then I too am anointed. And even if I wasn't, he is. So whatever anoint- the anointing can do, I can reach out my hand and he will make it happen. So who do you say Jesus is? We have Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that healeth thee. Who do you say Jesus is? Is he the healer? Is he your life? Is he your, now, under the Old Testament, and remember, we have a better covenant than the Old Testament. Is that right? Under the Old Testament, he was the Lord that healeth. Present tense is always healing. So if we have a better covenant, then we not only have the Lord that is the healer, but we have the Lord who is our life and health to us. So he is always the healer. Isn't that right? But you have to recognize because you can't just say, well, our church believes that. A lot of people, their church believes it and they die of sickness or disease. So you've got to decide. You've got to believe. Who do you say Jesus? Yes, he is my healer. He is my health. He is my life. Who do you say that he is? You know, we've got all of these names, and every one of them, Jesus was God manifest in the flesh. So all those names is who he is. But he can be that, and yet until you make him that to you, he might as well not be that to you. Because if you don't take him as that, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides. Well, is, who, who do you say is? Is he the Lord that provides for you? Or is it your job that provides for you? Is it, you know, something else? You know, what your pension, your whatever it is that provides for you. Because if you look at that, then whenever that provision gets shaky, you start to shake. But if you say he is my provider, then whenever that gets shaky, you go, oh, okay. Well, we're going to see how God's going to take care of me now. Why? Why? Because you can't depend on the world or the world system. But you start saying, he is my provider. See, George Mueller knew that God was the provider. And he focused on it. And he was able to feed 10,000 orphans with prayer to God. See, you have to know, who is God to you? Who is Jesus to you? So you have to decide, who do you say that he is? And the thing is, if you want him to be all those things to you, then you've got to say, and know he is all those things all the time. He is the healer, the provider. He is my peace. He is present. He is with me wherever I go. He's all of these things to me, and you know that all the time. And when you know that, that's called the fullness of God in Christ, in you. And you start to, and you realize whatever situation comes along, you know he's got a name for that. And he said that I will keep him in perfect peace whose mind has stayed upon me because he has known my name. Well, what's his name? What's his name today for you? If you're going through sickness or disease, today he's Jehovah Rapha. Amen? But that's got to be that to you. You can't just be, well, you know, I, when, when I die, I'll go to heaven. I mean, I, I suppose you could. But that is not the life in abundance that he died to give you. The life that he died to give you is a life full of life. A life that can do something that normal people can't do. That's why I said, don't be normal. You don't want to be normal. Why? Because normal people can't do that much. Amen? We are to be, 
it's like, like the old saying is, you know, it's God's super on our natural that makes it supernatural. Okay? Like I've said before, you, you want to know what the responsibility, what your responsibility is? Responsibility is your response to his ability. That's all it is. And whenever you see his ability and your response is correct, you take responsibility for the situation because you know his ability is available to you. Amen? So who is he to you? Who do you say that he is? It's not enough for the world to say something. Why? Because you're the ones that have to kick in the gates of hell. 